bit ill this week, so my voice isn't very clear. Uh, but I just want to talk about Chris Lane's latest video relating to a expat that was murdered um, a couple of blocks away from him that he actually knew. Um, <coughs> this is more to do with the way expats need to separate themselves that we're not all one group. And the reason I'm saying this is some expats get involved in all sorts. Um, some of it's very dubious. Uh, there was a British expat that died probably two years ago now, dealing with arms dealing. Um, there's drug smuggling. Um, all sorts of bad, bad people in the expat community as well as the local community. And... Chris already had a bad feeling about the guy before because, like, you know, when uh, he's asking him if he could use his internet and blah, blah, blah. When people are like that, I did say before, you've got to be very careful of them uh, because they do get up to stupid things because they're doing whatever they can to survive. Um, as such, they put themselves and you at risk if you spend a lot of time with them uh, because, obviously, you become associated with them. Um, this guy was basically beaten, then uh, hung. They attempted to hang him after he was dead, I think, after they broke his neck, uh, to try and fake the death as being a suicide. Although, with the bruising, etc., how would you manage to fake it? It'd be on me, because obviously you wouldn't commit suicide if you were badly bruised. But you will find... A lot of crimes are solved very fastly in the Philippines by the word suicide. Um, the Mactan Bridge, the number of people have jumped off there. Um, there's, if you look through the media, there's suicide, love triangle. Um, the same threads are in most crimes. Easy to mop up, easy to shove under the carpet. And this will be a prime example of that. But it does seem this guy, just by what Chris was saying, may have brought trouble unto himself. Now, I don't know what, what he's done or what he's been doing, etc. So I can't really comment too much. But for somebody to actually beat somebody, uh, it's personal. It's either personal or financial. Um, or both. I doubt it's... You know, it's not random, that's for sure. Especially if you take the time to do it. You know, it's not as if they beat him and then took him to the apartment. So they obviously felt safe in that environment, which means they're also very likely to be very near or have no fear of anybody else, which would say, if that's the case, he's in a lot more, been in a lot more trouble than he thought. Um, I'll try not to speculate too much, but... I'm just saying, from an expat's point of view, be careful who you socialise with and spend your time with because you don't know who they are. You don't know their background. I mean, Chris Chris already picked up a bad feeling about the guy already. Um, although he seemed fairly harmless. Um, the other way to look at that is what could have happened if Chris was with him. Um, at the same time, these guys were looking for him. Exactly. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll put Chris's link in as well because you can watch that because um, then you'll get Chris's viewpoint on it because Chris has more information than me, which is why I'm not going over the details, but simply be careful who you spend your time with.